Hi, it's Neil Sean here on your entertainment news with a multi-talented man sat next to me. It is the one and only Mr. Bob Golding, who tells us all about his fantastic stage show, Morgan. Remember though, Bob? Yes, yes, if you miss it, you miss out, you see? <laughs> Don't miss Bob today on your entertainment news. <laughs> Thank you, careful. Bob, lovely to see you. And Hello, Neil. You're gearing up for yet another tour yes. of your wonderful stage show, Morecambe. Tell us all about it. Well, um, uh, firstly, uh, I'd like to say it was mine, but uh, there's uh, a couple of geniuses involved in it other than me. Not that I'm a genius by any stretch of the imagination, although sometimes on a Friday night. No, uh, Tim Whitnell, uh, the writer of the piece, uh, I believe uh, you know of him yeah. in the past. Uh, <laughs> he's a fantastic guy. And he's one of these blokes that is, is so talented. Everything he puts his mind to is brilliant. Uh, I hate him and love him for it in the same uh, measures. But uh, he came up with this script. Uh, guy and I, uh, Guy Masterson, uh, had put our heads together about possibly doing a one one man play about something at the Edinburgh Festival. He's kind of the, the solo maestro, they call him, yeah. uh, the, the king of one man shows, if you like, uh, having done uh, Under Milk Wood, uh, Animal Farm, several others for many, many years. Uh, so Guy and I knew we wanted to do something and it was what to do. So we sat down with Anna Murphy, the producer, and Tim and Guy and we, we knew that we, Eric Morkham was a possibility. Uh, people have often said to me in my life that you, you look like Eric, you know, you've got something about you, maybe a couple of mannerisms. Obviously yeah. I'm much younger than Eric was when uh, it came to his uh, early death in, yeah. in 84 at 58. Uh, and our intention really was only get to go to Edinburgh to do the oh, festival. Wow. Uh, to do four weeks at the festival. Uh, I mean, I'd never done a one-man play before, so for me, it was uh, the big thing was, wow, I'm doing a one-man play, yeah. not necessarily do, playing my hero. That all came much later. Yeah. But once we got to Edinburgh, the, the stakes were higher, and obviously there's a lot of celebrity people around mm. and a lot of a lot of people waiting with daggers perhaps in the wings <laughs> uh, to see if was, we were going to do uh, Eric justice so f f for all of us I think it was quite a nerve-wracking time but thankfully uh, and I hugely have to point to, to Tim the writer on this uh, that it's such a sensitive piece in mm. that it champions Eric and Ernie as much uh, but also kind of reminds us how much we miss him and, mm -hmm. and there won't be that kind of gel, that chemistry on screen again like that. I mean, there'll be other double acts, there'll be other comedy, which is brilliant, but uh, it, it, they were unique, you know, and, and, and quite right. So we wanted to pay homage, say thank you and celebrate what, they, what they've done. And that when we, once we got to Edinburgh, we never, we didn't know what, what the kind of reaction yeah. we were going to get. So to come off and suddenly get five star reviews, win a fringe first in such a, you know, a well respected part of the industry, the Edinburgh Fest Festival, Fringe Festival, was uh, unbelievable. And it was then that we all sat down and said, well, maybe we should do it a bit longer then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, our intentions were to do ten little dates afterwards just yeah. to recoup the losses of Edinburgh, because no one tends to yeah. make money in Edinburgh. You just kind of try to wipe your own nose and carry yeah. on with it. Uh, and so that's what we did. And But in the middle of that came, uh, you know, the prospect of possibly a West End run, which we'd done, we had done in uh, last Christmas yeah. uh, for six weeks. And then this tour, this huge tour, and I've just finished a 200-date tour up to this point. And uh, my, my dad, bless him, worked out that I'd driven 12,000 miles in that time. Uh, what I love about the play is that you know you touch about his mother and the driving force mm. that his mother was, and yes. and, and it's, I think it's beautifully written as well in the way that it incorporates Ernie because uh, Ernie was as vital as, as Eric. You know, it was just a gel that they were so well together. Yeah. But I think that his mother, you kind of wonder. Um, Sadie to me didn't come across as a showbiz mother. No. She just kind of came across as somebody who didn't want him to be lost. Yes. She you saw know. a spark in him. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people have asked us, you know, was Sadie a pushy showbiz mum? Yeah. Push? She certainly wasn't that from any of the books that you read about it. If you speak to, you know, the family, she certainly wasn't that at all. If anything, she was just a very wise lady yeah. who, who saw this wonderful spark in Eric that, I mean, at, at uh, three or four years old, he was entertaining uh, uh, builders on a building site, you know, just for, for a penny or whatever. Yeah. And she saw that and thought, well, hang on a minute, you're not going to be a ruffian and, and run off behind my back all the time like he was always doing. We're going to put you on stage. We're going to teach you dancing. And, and I don't think Eric 
uh, was forced into. I don't think he felt, oh God, do I have to do this? He mm. just thought, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do, and, yeah. and he was a good son in that respect. So, um, where, now your tour starts when, and how long are you going for? Right, we are going from uh, the September the seventh. Uh, we're starting uh, Cardiff, and it's basically eight weeks uh, of full week-long runs around the country. So we do. Cardiff, this is a good one now, it's going to test me now. <laughs> Not necessarily in the right order, yeah. uh, but we're doing Cardiff, we're doing Richmond, Windsor, Winchester, Cambridge, Manchester, uh, Malvern, and there's another one that I've completely forgotten. Oh, but I'm sure we could find out. But yeah, it's uh, six weeks on, one week off, one week on, one week off, and then the last week again. So it takes us all the way up to the end of November. And do you know what you want to do after this is finished? Or have you thought about, you know, I mean, yeah. I could see this as a great BBC4 drama to me. I think you'd be right for that. I think there is something in the pipeline as far as a tribute, uh, or not a tribute, uh, the storytelling of, of Eric and Ernie's early career. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't think I'm going to be part of that because uh, I think Victoria Wood's involved, actually. She's, oh, she's, she's playing, playing Sadie, Molly. yeah. yeah. Um, I think that the, the story is the very early days of Eric and Ernie up, yeah. in their, up to their 20s. And I'm, I'm 40 in a few days' time, so I'm a bit too old. But um, but I think we've talked about possibly making it a radio piece, um, and we may, there may be legs for it to go on again after that. But I'm, I, for the time being, I think as an actor, I'd quite like to say thank you, Eric, and uh, and move on to Horizons New. You know. Hi, it's Neil Sean here on your entertainment news with the wonderful Mr. Bob Golding, who tells us all about his fantastic stage show, Morecambe. Remember, though, Bob? Yes, yes. If you miss out, no. What is it? If you <laughs> miss it. <laughs> Let's do that again, shall we? <laughs> yeah. It's very good, this. Three. Stuff.